Hey friends, today we are continuing our 12 days till Christmas countdown and we are just four days away, four more days till Christmas and I am driving from Florida to Pennsylvania. We are on the road. I'm going to see my mom and sister for Christmas and uh, I stopped at south of the border and I figured I'd start the vlog up from here because I stayed here last night at Pedro's Pleasure Dome and it was incredible and I can't wait to share my experiences with you because this is amazing and uh, give you a little room tour so we're gonna hit the open road do a little uh, motel room tour and have a beautiful travel kind of day anywho's let's go do this south of the border has been a tradition for me and Gracie for years and we're finally gonna stay at the south of the border motor Inn. I love it Pedro's Pleasure Dome South of the border is like a roadside attraction or a tourist attraction uh, right on the line between North Carolina and South Carolina. And it's supposed to be, uh, if you're driving past it, you're entering in the South. And uh, it has seen better days. It's been around since the 1940s and it's run down. Horrible reviews. I mean, they have stores, they have an arcade, they have a, like a gigantic sombrero. But the motel itself, everyone's like, you don't want to stay there. But I do. I love this stuff. I mean, I've always wanted to stay here. And it was only $78 so I know what I'm getting myself into no knock I mean they're doing what they can especially since uh, it's been around 1940s and if people aren't upkeeping it then it kind of you know goes downhill but I like it because it makes it more abandoned I asked the front desk if they would give me their best accommodations and I said I like something with the view so I ended up getting a nice little pool view and uh, yeah these are the uh, motels here I'm gonna give you a room tour look at this I even got a nice little ice machine right outside my door and then a Pepsi machine here and then uh, this little corner over here this is my room this one right here this one is 115 uh, and this is the room next to me but I don't think anybody's in there. Looks like they're getting something there. Is that a little fridge? And uh, my door is uh, kind of special because it's a little loose. So I have it opened up a little bit. But here's the room tour. Look at Gracie sitting on the bed here. Now, I'll be honest, I have stayed in worse motels before than this. And in fact, I think I've lived in worse places than this. And please, absolutely no shade on south of the border. I feel like this is a historical roadside attraction and it's been a tradition for me. I, abs I absolutely love this place. I know a lot of people always say it's run down, but I think that's what makes it so special. So uh, even though I'm pointing out some things, like I said, I've definitely stayed in worse places and you get what you pay for. This is a $78 a night room at 3 in the morning. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> My room actually has two doors. We have uh, this door and then that door that takes us out the other side. We have two beds. Gracie's on this one right here. Got a nice little wall AC. I love the brick. The brick is very nice. The hardwood floors. I also appreciate the art on the walls. The decor. It's amazing in here. And then we got a nice little bathroom. The one thing that concerned me about the bathroom, I think our the cigarette burns on the tub here. As me and Gracie were kind of just discovering all of the uh, hidden amenities inside the room, uh, we did find uh, this random dirty bar of soap behind the door. I think there's a bunch of ants on it too. Last night was one of the craziest nights actually staying here because uh, when I checked in uh, I saw a bunch of cats out front and they were near their motel and I asked uh, one of the guys I'm like hey what's up with those cats and he was just like oh they live here don't let them in the room and I was like oh ha, ha, funny funny not funny not funny at all I'll show you because I woke up in the middle of the night and Gracie was freaking out and I'm like what's going on and I grabbed the camera just so I could film it to show you Gracie is freaking out right now because the cats are trying to get into the room they're outside the door clawing trying to get in here I can hear them no what are you doing you almost snuck in on me didn't you I'm looking outside here. Oh boy. There's somebody right there. 
those cats were like a whirlwind of emotions for me because I'm just laying in bed and then all of a sudden I hear Gracie like bark and then I hear something at the door and I was like, what the heck was that? I got so scared and I was like, oh my Lord. So then I start going over to the door and uh, I open up the door and I'm like, oh my God, what is it? And then it's just a bunch of cats and I start getting all like happy. I'm like, oh, look at the cats, look at them. And I'm like, yo, look at this. And then all of a sudden I'm like, wait, I'm sad. I was like, why are they Why are they at the door? I'm like, they want food. Then maybe they want to come in the room. So then I had to go out front and I asked one of the workers. I was like, hey, there's a bunch of cats hanging by my room. And he, the, 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 the worker, he said, he's like, he's like, don't feed the cats. And I was like, well, it uh, looks like they're hungry. They, and he was like, they have a home. They live across the street and they just come over to the motel. And I'm like, oh, what? I'm like, what? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, you'll see there's food all outside from all the cats. People just put food out there and the cats come out and they literally come but they literally live next door so they're like wild cats that leave their house come over and eat at south of the border and then go home that's what he told me and i was like oh well, that makes me kind of happy they did look like they're pretty pretty cats they look like very well maintained i love all of the uh brochures they have inside of the room places to eat here at uh, south of the border they have hot tamale the Peddler Steakhouse, Ice Cream Fiesta. Then they've got places to shop. Look at Mexico Shop West. And then attractions, a 300 foot tall sombrero observation tower. And then a reptile lagoon. And then they've got uh, fireworks. Oh, we have free internet access too. But honestly, I mean, if you're just on the road, just like me and Gracie, on the road again and you need a nice little room you know this is perfect especially if you're on a budget every other hotel i checked like on the way up here that was pet friendly uh they were like 200 300 a night uh and uh here like i said 70 dollars, 70 bucks i think that's a steal look at everything we got now that we have showed you the room a little bit i think it's time to hit the road we're gonna start making our way back up 95 and I think we've got uh, about 10 or 11 hours to go. 10 or 11 more hours to go. I think I already drove seven. So we'll be roughly around 20 hours maybe if we stop a lot with Gracie, especially on this one. Uh, I mean, I like taking her to each state and like letting her like walk around. And also it's cool for her to be able to say that she peed in every single state. I'm sure she's going to tell all of her friends that. Uh, but yeah, we're going to hit the road on the road again i love all the statues around here this is the hotel or the motel itself look it says plate uh pedro's pleasure dome right on the the front here it also has an indoor pool oh it says leisure oh wait it says pleasure it's missing the p <laughs> it says p here and then leisure over here well leisure leisure over here the main lobby kind of reminds me of the contemporary Look at this. And uh, this is why they call it Pedro's Pleasure Dome because they have a gigantic dome that is uh, an in indoor pool lounge area. This actually looks really nice for a motel. I cannot get over just how amazing this place is. I look at everything and I just get excited. Everything's run down. It's almost abandoned. And it's been like this for a very long time. And every single time I come back, it's just getting worse and worse and better and better like <laughs> it's the best i kind of want to just give you guys a drive around and show you how amazing this place is look at you got pedro's myrtle beach shop right here this place has a great white shark in there i love it so much I recently started watching Yellowstone and now I basically want to be a cowboy. It's taken over my whole entire personality. I've been listening to country music nonstop. Me and Gracie have been jamming out to some country music. I wish, I can't wait till we get up here and we get Froggy 101. Once we get back into Pennsylvania, Froggy 101, Crockett. You know I like my chicken fried. A cold beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans that fit just right. And the radio, whoa, whoa, whoa.
Of course, we had a stop to Gracie's favorite little dog park here in Roanoke Rapids. We come here all the time. It's at the uh, visitor center. She uh, is familiar with it. She knows it. Like she's been at this dog park, this random dog park, like probably I'd say 10 times. <laughs> I know, right? Wow. We needed to take a quick break because I needed to upload the video that I was putting out for tomorrow. This, yeah, 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 for tomorrow. Uh, so we stopped at Fairfield because they have the best upload to internet speeds. And if you're a Marriott Bonvoy member, you get to just come and use it. So me and Grace are just hanging out, hanging out, doing some work, doing the stuff. I feel like a busy, busy person. I'm out on the road, I'm editing. I got Gracie with me. Gracie's not impressed. I'm pretty sure we're in Fairfield in Virginia somewhere. We're in Virginia. What are you doing? Gracie's watching that door. She hasn't took her eyes off of it once. Except for now. <laughs> it's taking me a lot longer than I'm like used to. Uh, I, I think it's just mainly I'm just tired. <laughs> you know, I mean? I'm, I'm just beat and exhausted. So I'm like, oh yeah, let's stop Gracie. I think I'm wanting to stop more than Gracie actually. So I'm like, oh man, I might have to stop and get another hotel tonight. <laughs> oh, I don't even, I, I, I could power through it, but by the time I get to my mom's house, it's gonna be uh, like 11.30. So what would be the point to stay awake just to get there for 11.30 when I can just go to bed, rest, wake up early in the morning and then be there at like 11 a.m. We stopped at the Virginia Welcome Center. Virginia is for lovers, Gracie. I like how they have the nice little love photo opportunity and look at the sunset that's happening behind us. This has been a very beautiful drive and I'm hoping that all the time lapses that I'm doing are actually working because I don't know what I'm doing, but I hope it comes out good. We're stopping at Chick-fil-A. Gotta get ourselves some grilled nuggies. Oh, this Chick-fil-A is right next to Econo Lodge. I am covered in Gracie dog hair. I picked a bad day to wear all black and then also I rented this SUV and uh, it's all black too, so it's black leather. Uh, luckily it's pet friendly, uh, but uh, I, if I don't get it like a deep cleaning, then I'm probably gonna get charged a fee because of Gracie's hair. She's got it all over the place and it's, it's literally standing out because it's white and black. It's the meal of champions. One Chick-fil-A nugget for me. One for Gracie. Hmm. Oh. What's this cold weather in PA getting to you? Huh? Welcome to Pennsylvania, Gracie. How long's it been? Not that long. <laughs> Well, we made it to Pennsylvania, but sadly I had to throw in the towel and I think Gracie did too. I'm just whooped and uh, I figured why just drive all the way up to my mom's house and just get there tired and just pass out. I might as well just stop now, get some rest and then wake up all fresh, all ready to go and uh, start the day from there. So that's what we did. And we found a nice little uh, hotel right next to Hershey Park. Like Hershey Park is literally right outside the door and I'm so excited. But I think that is gonna do it for today. And uh, it's been a long one. I'm ready to actually go to bed and uh, kind of rest up because we have so many amazing things planned. I can't wait to show you guys. I wanna have my whole family together for the holidays. It's gonna be amazing and uh, I kinda just, <laughs> I want to share it. You know what I mean? I want to, I also want to have it as like a digital memory book, you know, so I can always look back on it. And uh, yeah, so anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Tomorrow, look forward towards another video. And I think we're, I don't even know what day it is anymore. Holy moly. Today is the 21st. Four days away to Christmas. So tomorrow, we're gonna be three days away till Christmas. Holy moly, I gotta get some sleep. Good night. This is the hotel we got for the night. Gracie is just so happy to sit down and go to sleep. 
You're probably exhausted. Huh? I know. She stayed up with me. She did. It was great. She didn't go to bed once. She was like, oh, no. I don't think she did it for me, though. <laughs> but I, I like to think she did it for me. But isn't this a nice little room? Got a sofa over there. And then this really funny cabinet. Look at this. Oh. I like that. That's how you utilize storage space. Right there. A little tiny machine. Yeah. The view is beautiful. I like it a lot. Tomorrow we'll uh, see what else we get done. We'll see what else we're going to do. Kind of just taking it day by day. I wasn't expecting on stopping. But I don't know. I used to do this drive in one trip. I think I'm getting old. It was my birthday just two days ago. I went outside and I can see Gracie from my room. Look at her in there, sitting on the bed. I can see you there. <laughs>